Hey everybody, welcome to part two of the Drinking Jays Spring Break Special. Part one aired two weeks ago. I'll leave a uh, card right up here so you can go check that out. But uh, this is gonna be part two. And what would spring break be without a little sex on the beach? That's what we're making here today, folks. Stay tuned. Uh, before we get into making the drink, I would like to remind everybody to, if you like these videos, share them with your friends. Uh, in just a few minutes, I'm going to tell you about a giveaway that's coming up. We're trying to get to 100 subscribers, so hang on just a second. So this drink consists of basically four ingredients. You got your vodka, you got your peach schnapps, you got some orange juice, and you got some cranberry juice. That's it. Very simple. Uh, you don't even need a shaker to make this one. We're going to build it straight in the glass. So uh, let's get right to it, folks. Um, we are going to build this in a hurricane glass. Now, this isn't exactly a hurricane glass, but it's the closest thing I had. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to fill this bad boy up with ice. And I'm officially over using the ice scoop. We're just gonna use our hands because, well, it's just easier that way. One less thing for me to have to clean up when it's over. All right, we're gonna fill this all the way up with good crushed ice. And the first thing we're gonna add is one ounce of peach schnapps. This is good old peach tree. I'm sure there's some better peach schnapps out there, but not that I can find around here. God, I'm making a mess already, Jay. There's one ounce of peach schnapps poured straight into our hurricane glass. Next thing we got is the vodka. Now this currently is my favorite vodka. This is Monkey in Paradise vodka distilled and bottled in St. Petersburg, Florida. Now, if you want to win your very own bottle of this, plus a gift card to take your honey out to eat somewhere, all you have to do is share my videos on your social media and comment on that video on YouTube and let me know where you shared it at so I can go check it out and make sure. Once we get to 100 subscribers, I'm gonna take everybody's name who shared the video, I'm gonna put it in a hat, I'm gonna draw it out, and whoever I draw wins the vodka and the gift card. Uh, every time you share it, and comment on video, you get another chance. So you got a chance to get yourself good, uh, good opportunity to win this bottle of vodka. Not this bottle, this bottle's gonna be gone by then, but. All right, so next thing we're gonna add is two ounces of vodka. Real simple. Like I say, this is good stuff. It's my favorite right now. And next up is orange juice. Now I'm breaking one of my rules. I usually only use fresh squeezed orange juice, but the orange juice really don't stand out in this. So I feel like this is a good one just to cut a corner and use some uh, good old Simply Orange. So we're gonna put two ounces of orange juice. All right, so we got an ounce of peach schnapps, two ounces of vodka, and two ounces of orange juice. Now, as you can see, it settled a little bit. So we're gonna to top it back off with ice. But you want a lot of ice in this drink. Yeah, let's just throw the ice everywhere, Jay. Uh, all right, now the last ingredient is cranberry juice. Now I want you to pay close attention how cool this looks once I pour, start pouring this cranberry juice in there. I'm gonna pour it real slow so that the color distributes slowly. Oh, there we go, look at that. There we go. And I always, I use an ounce of peach schnapps, two ounces of cranberry, two ounces, I mean, I'm sorry, an ounce of peach schnapps, two ounces of vodka, two ounces of orange juice, and then I just top it off whatever's left with the uh, cranberry probably works out to be about an ounce. But uh, 
I think we will garnish this with a good old orange wedge. While I'm cutting up this orange, I want to tell y'all something. So, a couple weeks ago, we went down to Panama City Beach for a birthday party. And it is spring break down there right now. And I think we'll use an umbrella here. So I got to thinking about my own spring break days. And back in 1994, myself and four good friends took a, look at that, every time, took my buddy's pop-up camper down there and we stayed five deep in a pop-up camper at Raccoon River on Panama City Beach. We had the best time of our lives. There you go, folks. That is your sex on the beach. Uh, I'm gonna add a straw in here. But I just wanted to point out some differences in spring break then and spring break now. Like I said, we swung it on a budget. We uh, ate hot dogs on light bread. We stayed five deep in a pop-up camper. These kids these days, oh man, that's good. That is real good. Anyway, these kids these days, they're driving $80,000 trucks to spring break with $10,000 worth of tires and rims and they got the back of it squatted down and the trucks lit up like the satellite stage at the Gold Nugget Lounge and they stay in $2,000 a night condos. I just don't feel like all that builds the character that uh, we used to have at spring break. Man, you got guys at spring break now toting around guns, shooting each other. It just ain't the same vibe. Things have changed a lot. And it really makes me sad that my kids aren't going to get to experience spring break like I did. But that's neither here nor there because that is one hell of a drink right there. Uh, the peach schnapps comes through. Enough acidity from the orange juice to cut that a little bit. Uh, can't taste the vodka at all. This could really... This could really get you in trouble. I gotta start hitting that mic with my hand. Yeah, that's a that's a good drink right there, folks. Um, like I say, make sure share the videos, comment, subscribe, like the videos. Also, um, doing some Mother's Day gift baskets. If you'll check out the live feed I did last week, I'll leave a link to it somewhere up here. If you'll check out the live feed that I did Sunday, gives you all the details about that in there. Um, and remember, always drink responsibly, support your local family-owned liquor stores, and always try to drink from local breweries and distilleries when you can. Uh, happy spring break, everybody. When this airs, I will be getting ready to go to spring break, our own spring break, so uh, probably have some videos coming up from our spring break trip, so stay tuned for that. And uh, with that, happy drinking everybody. Yeah. You could get, uh, that could get out of hand real quick. <laughs>